This video is going to take a look at how to divide when there are remainders. So there are other videos that show you how to divide using the tabular method and how to divide using long division for polynomials, both with and without placeholders and without remainder. So if you're starting off, you need a basic video, take a look at one of those, but this one is gonna show you how to divide with remainders. So I'm gonna look at the exact same question, but I'm gonna do it once with a tabular method and once with long division. Given f of x equals x cubed minus x squared plus three x minus one, and g of x equals x plus three, state the quotient and remainder of f of x divided by g of x in the form q of x plus r of x over g of x. So there's a lot of function notation happening here, but don't get confused. They just want you to state the quotient and the remainder, and they want me to put f of x divided by g of x. So I'm gonna set it up. x cubed minus x squared plus three x minus one divided by g of x, which is x plus three. They want us to state it in this form here, but all that means is the quotient plus the remainder over our divisor. And we'll talk about that when we get to the end of the question, but first let's divide. So I have a divisor of x plus three, which means I need two rows if I'm using tabular division. I'm going to set it up with two rows. That also means that I now need to set up my columns. So I have to have three columns. One, two, three. Because I need to do my diagonals for tabular. And the numerator portion of the division problem goes in the diagonal. So x cubed minus x squared plus 3x minus 1. And remember, when we are dividing with the tabular method, we always start in the top left-hand corner. Let me label my divisor on the side as well. So this is an x cubed. What times x gave me x cubed? x squared. Once I have a top piece, I multiply. x squared times 3 is 3x squared. This diagonal has to give me a negative x squared. So what plus 3x squared equals a negative x squared? A negative 4x squared. So now I need to go to the top. What times x gave me a negative 4x squared? A negative 4x. If you want to check it, check it. Negative 4x times x is a negative 4x squared, so that works. Now I have a top piece, so I multiply. Negative 4x times 3 is a negative 12x. Remember that this diagonal has to add to give me a positive 3x. So what plus negative 12x gives me a positive 3x? It's a positive 15x. Now I need to find the top piece. So what times x gives me a positive 15x? A plus 15. Once you have a top piece, you multiply. 15 times 3 gives me 45. So here's how I know that there is a remainder. Obviously I did from the question, but if I didn't have that wording in the question and it just said to divide, the fact that my 45 does not match the outcome of this diagonal tells me there's a remainder. So I like to set up this little equation. 45 plus my remainder is supposed to give me a negative 1. So now you can solve. So subtract 45 on both sides. That means my remainder is negative 46. So I want to write it in this form that they have up here. So x squared minus 4x plus 15 is my answer, but I have a remainder of a negative 46. So let me move this down here so we have some room. Plus negative 46 over my divisor of x plus 3. So there is your answer. You could also write this, or you may also see this, written like this. x squared minus 4x plus 15 minus 46 over x plus 3. So you can either have a plus and then the negative in the numerator, or you can have a minus and then the entire fraction of your remainder. So that's how you divide using the tabular method with remainders. 
going to take a look at the exact same problem once again, except this time I'm going to use long division. So just as a refresher, my f of x is going in the numerator, and my g of x is my divisor, which is going in the denominator. So for long division, my divisor, x plus 3, goes on the outside, and then my x cubed minus x squared plus 3x minus 1 goes on the inside. So what times x gives me x cubed, x squared? Because remember, my goal is to cancel those first terms. So now I multiply. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 3 is a 3x squared. And now I'm subtracting. But remember, you're really subtracting this whole thing. So I like to make my subtraction sign and then change my signs immediately. So x cubed minus x cubed cancels. A negative x squared minus 3x squared is a minus 4x squared. And then I bring down the next piece. What times x gives me a negative 4x squared? A minus 4x. I have a top piece, so now I multiply. Negative 4x times x is a negative 4x squared. Negative 4x times 3 is a negative 12x. And I'm subtracting, which means I change all of my signs. And I like to circle them so I know I've already done it. So I have negative 4x squared plus 4x squared. That cancels. That's always your goal. And then I have 3x plus 12x, which is 15x. And now I bring down my negative 1. What times x gives you 15x? A positive 15. So 15 times x is 15x. 15, 15 times 3 is 45, and now we're subtracting. So I have to subtract each piece. 15x minus 15x cancels. A negative 1 minus 45 is a negative 46. This is my remainder. So if I'm putting it in that form, I'm going to have x squared minus 4x plus 15, because that was my quotient from the top up here plus my remainder, so negative 46, over my divisor of x plus 3, which is the same answer we got when we did it with tabular. So that's how you divide using long division or using tabular when there are remainders.